At University Hospitals Birmingham NHS Foundation Trust, we run one of Europe's leading hospitals and provide direct clinical services to nearly 900,000 patients every year. Right now, there are even more patients from across the region who are waiting to come to the hospital for medical care. For this reason, the Trust places a high priority on discharging patients in a safe and timely manner. No one likes spending more time in hospital than they have to, so the sooner we can get patients back home, the better. Like passengers on a bus, all of our patients have different reasons for joining us and different best times for them to move on from hospital care. If patients don't leave the hospital when they're supposed to, then new patients can't be treated. This can be a real problem in hospitals, where it's easy for us to be distracted by what's in front of us and forget about those patients still lining up, waiting for beds. For this reason, discharge is a clinical as well as an operational priority. As a new member of our team, it's part of your role to make sure that the right procedures are followed at the right time, so that discharge is safe and convenient for everyone. Hospitals, try to work to a timetable. Right from admission, patients should be given an expected date of discharge, and wherever possible, should be on their way home before 1pm on that date. It is best practice to complete TTOs well in advance. This helps the pharmacy dispense drugs on time and prevents unnecessary delays. The same is true with discharge letters, which should be written as soon as you know the patient can leave the hospital. Patients' lives don't stop at the hospital door, and they will often have connecting services or onward travel that needs to be planned for. To help with this, the Trust operates a discharge lounge, which is staffed by a team who can collect and hand out the TTOs we have ordered, along with relevant patient information. The discharge lounge is an important part of smoothing the patient's journey, providing ongoing nursing care during the day of discharge, such as administering IV antibiotics, removing drains and giving oxygen therapy. And with prior warning, nursing staff are always happy to pre-book transport, helping patients leave the hospital as soon as they're ready. All through the process, it's vital that discharge dates and times are made known to the patients and their carers so that they can plan accordingly. And if there are going to be delays, patients should be told, by nursing staff or doctors, how long they will be and why they are happening. The main thing to remember is that as a new doctor in the Trust, completing patient discharge tasks should always be high on your to-do list. Making discharge dates a reality is the key to running an efficient public service in our community. Less waiting around and less waiting for beds means we can treat more people and deliver the best in care for everyone that comes through our doors. For more information, please see the leaflet you were given as part of your induction.